Welcome to Bella's Crochet Gifts. I'm Bella. All right, so today I have some finished objects and a bunch of works in progress to show you. So first off, I would like to share with you, um, I'm jumping on a new make-along. I can't believe I didn't think about doing this sooner, but I am going to be jo joining um, my friend Rosanna at Crochet with N Nana Rosanna on her book cover blankets and I'm going to be making granny squares for that and for the month of February it was Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice and this is the square I made for it there we go like I told you before I am running out of red I'm gonna to have to break into a new uh, skein soon but that's the red I had and then we've got the kind of this cream color for the lettering. The cover is kind of this yellow, as close as I could get, and then black for vampire, <laughs> and also the outer edge to make it a nice uh, cohesive blanket. So that is that one. So that was my book cover blanket square. I made it this time. And then I have, uh, I am joining my friend Neva from Manic Mama's Musings and I am doing her Music Theory 101 album covers and, oof, got a hair. Uh, this is from the album color cover for Fozzy and it is called Boombox. So there we go. I know it looks very similar to other ones I have done, but these are individual <laughs> blocks that I am making for each of these. So there we go. And then the next one is for Chris Stapleton and the album is called Higher. So I had to break out new skeins for these because I did not have anything of these colors. <laughs> so I got a brand new screen of brown and I found a nice orangey color that I thought would go well with it. So I did that and then of course black is the edging. So those are my um, squares for the make-alongs I'm doing right now. And then speaking, now let's finish my finished objects first. Okay, I did finish my um, Mulberry Street shawl from, by Cinnamon Stitches. She is here on YouTube. I will link her tutorial down below. And here we go. Oh, it turned out so pretty. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to put up a picture. So that's that on my mannequin. And then over here is on my bed. But this is two, not quite two skeins of the variegated this is a loops and threads silky soft which is a hundred percent rayon from bamboo and i believe it was teal multi and then this is the color deep lake and the last time i shared it i was right here i had gone where's the center so about that much, like that's the, the one side of the granny. So probably about that much. And then I finished off, which it turned into a very nice size uh, shawl. This is one full cake of, or one full skein of the lake on each side. I will put it on. So I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. 
There we go. So that is my other finished object. And oh, this yarn is really soft. It was, I have to say, it was very, very splitty. And there are places where loops are up and I'm just like, I can't do anything with that. <laughs> like once I pull a loop up from the one below, it's like, eh. I mean, you can try and tuck them in a little bit, but it's beautiful, but very splitty. <laughs> All right, so those were my finished objects. And let's see. Let's start with some works in progress. Um, my friend Mel from Lethalia's Little Hook with Melanie is doing a make-along. And she is having... Um, okay, how it began was uh, Mama G, Mama G Gear... Uh, she is not very good at reading patterns, apparently. Like, it just, she never learned to read them. And so, Melanie was going to uh, help her learn how to read a pattern, and it turned into this make-along. So, the pattern that they chose was the, I believe it's called Wavy Chevron Blanket. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up here. It is a free pattern from Yarnspirations. Um, and it suggests using a bulky yarn. So what I was thinking, I have some anniversary cakes that are just sitting there not doing anything and they're not in my colors, but I got a really good deal on them. So I was like, I can't pass these up. So I bought them and now I am making the chevron blanket with them. So I think I have four of these, this color total. Oh, can you see it? <laughs> Maybe I'll put it up on my, my bed so you can see my progress, but this is how it's going. It is here. I'll put a picture. This is the let's see, anniversary cake from, I think it was two years ago. Let me see if I, one second. Okay. <laughs> this big old guy, and apparently there's a hook stuck in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did that happen? Okay. Must have been sticky in there. That's weird. Okay. So, anniversary cake. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, this was the color uh, Sandy Shore. It says it's a super bulky number six. Uh, most people think it's kind of closer more towards a five maybe a heavy five it it doesn't seem to work up like the sixes I've been using lately so that's why I'm like eh. uh it calls for a eight millimeter hook and needles machine washable and dryable it is 100% acrylic it is 35.3 ounces 1000 grams 1,061 yards or 970 meters. It is made in China. And at the time, it was $34.99. So if that tells you anything, this was before it went up to $39.99. So anyway, so this, I have four of these and it's the Sandy Shores color. Try and get that back in its bag. Close enough. Anyways, so this is the pattern that she uh, taught. I'm going to link her live where she goes over uh, how to read the pattern and shows you how to do the stitches and so forth. But this is my progress so far. It is a... Okay. 
It's not that it's slow going. After a while, it hurts my elbow, if that makes any sense. Some people understand, like, you know, working with bigger yarns can kind of give you that, like, it doesn't flow as easily or it's heavy. Like, this is, this is dense. Like, this weighs quite a bit. And so I'll, I'll work on it for like half an hour and then I'll be like, okay, we're done. <laughs> I need to, or like an hour and need to do something else. So there's my progress on that one. Let's see what else I have. Um, if you missed it with my yarn haul, I did do another, uh, modified Ross hat. There we go. This was the, I love this chunky from Hobby Lobby in the color Saturn rings. And it is obviously chunky. I, I want to say it's like around 109 yards. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, something like it right in there. So there's that. And it turned out very nice. Then I have, what was it? I started another scrap can. <laughs> okay. I, okay. So I was, in my area where I crochet every day and I was trying to find a particular yarn that was in my pile and I was like okay I want to find this thing I don't know where it's at so I started moving everything out of the bucket that sits next to me like I have like a little skinny bucket here that like folds flat and then I have uh like a elongated tub that you get at like the dollar dollar tree or or like michael's like the the seasonal ones like the easter ones that are like a decent size and then they go down to like a buck or two <laughs> so it's 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 a larger one like it's skinny but it's long <laughs> okay not justifying so i have a bucket next to me and i could not find the yarn i was looking for and so i started pulling out all all the things that were in there to try and find what I was looking for. And I'm pulling out all these little balls of half skeins of stuff. And here, like I'll show you. Like this was a floppy skein that I balled into a ball. Um, I like to do the center pull balls. Uh, lots of people will just go ahead and put them on their ball winder, but someday if you guys are interested I will show you how I do my center pull ball winding um it was taught to me while I was in college and I've been using it ever since it's very convenient in case you don't have a ball winder but regardless I found a few scraps and so I started putting them into a blanket because <laughs> like it seems like all of the, the the granny squares I've been making have been in the warm colorway, and I am a cool colorway girl, and so I decided to make this. <laughs> oh dear! All right, so it's a whole bunch of gray blue blue tan green teal pop of that really really bright green from my movie marquee blanket from the beginning of the year this was a very old uh stitch studio by nicole scrap that i had i had almost a full cake of or like at least half a cake of the teal so i did it on both ends I split the green in half because it was a, a big size too and I'm just like I'm just gonna let it go until it stops <laughs> except for those those two that I felt were way too big to be like one big block of color <laughs> so yeah I I I just kept going I think this was a movie marquee I I don't know what this blue was it was from something this was the um 
limited edition, the yarn that Ray sent me uh, from Ray's Yarn Addiction, another scrap ball. This was part of a, a big blanket for somebody's, I think somebody's wedding. I had, and it was like, um, like a Karen one pound. And then random blue. This was part of a project. This was part of my movie marquee. This was the edging for my Boggy Creek blankets. This is that Stitch Studio, more of the teal, and I'm back into the green again. I have a couple of more, like a navy blue and another kind of gray blue like this, waiting to go into the blanket, but it's, it's that size right now, so two feet, maybe a little more. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm tired of having all these scraps that are waiting to go into other projects. And I'm like, that's silly. I should just put them in the same project <laughs> altogether because they're already just waiting. They're waiting to be made into a scrap project. How does that make sense? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> All right, so there's that. And then I do have a small update for my Merry and Bright project. There we go. I love this box. So if you remember, I had a crochet world. Yes, crochet world. And I want to make that. Well, I started it. <laughs> we'll put it that way. I did not get as far as I was hoping. There we go. <laughs> so I started the back panel. And it feels very small. This is 27 rows of the fingering weight. It's really pretty. I feel like it's definitely going to need to be blocked. Like, like to get the, the stitches to lay. I don't know. Like, I'm feeling slightly discouraged. And they're like, get to this point, cut your yarn. And I was like, I got to that point and I'm like, eh, I, I need to read more into the pattern, like finish reading the pattern because my brain's like, you want me to cut the yarn? But, but <laughs> I don't want to cut the yarn. <laughs> so there's where I'm at right now. It's it's a back panel and from what I can tell it's got like you cut it and then I think you make the panels to go over each shoulder and then you make the front panels and then there's sleeves and somehow there's like you connect the front to the back somehow I don't know. I, I really need to read it. I have not done a ton of sweaters. I have not made a ton of um, fit your body wearables. Like I've done a couple of, I've done like two or three pullover sweaters, which if, I usually make them big so they always fit. <laughs> and then I've made like a couple of cardigan style ones. But I don't know. It's just, uh, it's a little nerve wracking to get to that point and be like, now cut your yarn. Do you guys have that, that, that issue? <laughs> like, do you feel like, oh no, what happens if it's wrong? I mean, I guess I can just tie it in and reclaim the yarn if I need to, but it, it's a little, a little, uh, hard. <laughs> uh, 
All right, I think, nope, I have more. I have more. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Where did I put it? I have another whip UFO lingering whip that I want to work on and finish. So this I believe has celebrated its two or second birthday already. It, it's been around that long and not finished so I feel like I am more, it's knit. <laughs> well, that, that's part of it. I feel like that I am finally ready to commit to finishing this project because I am getting more comfortable knitting. I mean, obviously I just made my Ross hat. I think the problem that I ran into is I do better on short back and forths or in the round like I've made obviously I've made some headbands and I've made hats which that's either you know it's like this big that I'm going back and forth you know between this and this or in the round and round you're just like do 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 and it's fun so this is my shawl. <laughs> it is a bias shawl. And goes like that. So what I did a long time ago, I made a hat and ba well, I ba based the hat on a cowl. I can't remember. I think it's it's called That Nice Stitch. I think that's right. I'll put it up here if I'm wrong. But it is a knit cowl with textured stitch stitches. And I made it and it turned out awesome. <laughs> but they had a on the bias. Uh, like it's worked on the bias. So I'm like, I will take those bias stitches and turn it into... A shawl and that's what I tried to do so it is that long and who knows how long ago this was but that's what I showed you last <laughs> oh, let's see what are you a candy corn you are a candy corn very stubborn candy corn so that is what I have made progress wise. It kind of looks like, did I make a mistake? Possibly. Eh. Um, so it's just garter stitch where you knit back and forth. And then it's got the bias, which is, uh, it's the same bias stitches as that nice stitch cowl so I want to work on this and I want to finish it <laughs> and the yarn I am using to make it whoops come here I tell you bamboo is slippery so this is a yarn I got from Mary Maxim I believe it is discontinued I am so sorry um, it's called Artist Palette. It is a lightweight number three. It calls for four millimeter needles. Machine washable and dryable. Um, ooh, we've got it very involved. Wash using gentle, delicate cycle for two minutes. Tumble dry on low for a maximum of five minutes. Remove and lay flat to dry. Okay. This is the color 
finger paints and it was made in Turkey. It is 396 yards or 360 meters, 100% premium acrylic, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. So that is the color and that is the yarn. I, I ordered this quite a while ago, obviously, since that has had its second birthday, <laughs> at least. Oh my gosh. So that's why I want to get it done, is it's been lingering for quite a while, and it's not hard, it's just I need to do it. <laughs> and let's see, I think I'm using a 5mm needles for this. So, that's where I'm at. Um... I hope you guys are doing well. Um, hopefully you're having some nice weather. It is warming up here and that is wonderful for me. <laughs> and hopefully I'll get some yard work done here pretty soon because lots of things need trimming and, you know, I just need to move a bunch of stuff and like weed, weed eat. Is that the right term? I need to take the weed eater and do all my edgings because they haven't been done in a while and they really need it. <laughs> you know how that goes. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are doing well and I hope you have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is. I hope it's wonderful.